the sky is like blue and gray with sun like i don't know it just looks really cool outside right now not there literally being a hair on the side of my face this whole time <laughs> it's too early okay so you guys have seen me take this magic mind shot a couple times now because i genuinely love this product so much it's all that i ever wanted like i'm not just saying that because they're sponsoring this video but i'm genuinely saying that because it's actually helped me so much and that's why i'm so excited to be working with them so personally before i go to the gym in the mornings i always kind of feel like i need a boost to get through my workout because i am the type of person that has very low energy if i wake up at eight or before eight <laughs> so even if i get enough sleep okay it's just a thing so that's my problem is like especially if i want to gym in the morning i just don't have that energy in me and by taking these magic mind shots oh my goodness like right after i take it like give it about five ten minutes to kick in i feel like i can conquer my morning and that no one nobody can stop me like my gym workouts are always so good and i just feel more alive and awake and in tune after i take this in the morning and it's just also so good like i love the taste of it and matcha has so many health benefits and this also has adaptogens in it so i personally like taking magic mind because it gives me such good energy in the morning it helps me get through my workouts and i just feel so mentally clear and i never crash it gives me such sustainable energy just after like three days of taking um the magic mind shot in the morning i felt so much more clear throughout the day i haven't really had any brain fog either which i noticed and i haven't been as lazy after this i swear it just has made me more productive and want to do exercise and want to get movement in and want to get my work done usually when i have coffee it kind of gives me a bit of stress slash anxiety sometimes if i have too much but taking this i swear to you it is just such a clean source of energy that i don't feel that type of anxiousness that i do with coffee so one of the ingredients that this is made with is lion's mane and cordyceps so lion's mane and cordyceps boost your clarity and your focus like after taking this i can actually crush the day and get everything done like by noon then it feels like i have the rest of the day off because i got so much accomplished like at the beginning half of the day you know and on top of that it's also so aesthetic like look at this look at the packaging it's so cute like are you kidding me here's the box that it comes in it says get into flow state and if you guys know me that's literally right up my alley and i just have this in my fridge laying like this so that i can just grab one in the morning and it makes it so easy for me so if you guys want to shop magic mind and get a case for yourself um you can use the code michaela20 and you can get an exclusive 20 percent off your order so the link will be down below and everything that you need so go check that out and with that being said let's do this let's take the show okay so a couple things i forgot to mention magic mind actually contains nootropics which can boost brain performance and they also have a 100 money back guaranteed and just like that we're ready to work out okay let's go to the gym <laughs>
it's 9 30 and i did so much shit already today like i am actually thinking if i should make this a regular routine because it is 9 30 and i've done like everything that i need to do to get ready for the day i just feel so amazing and i feel energized i don't even feel an inch of tiredness right now i feel so good anyways so I thought that I would just quickly run you guys through what I've been doing for my everyday makeup routine, just showing you products quickly. I have been using the CC Cream by It Cosmetics. It has 50 SPF and it's very buildable, so I put on a really thin layer. Kind of just use it as like a tinted moisturizer because if you put on a thin layer, it doesn't give you that much coverage, but it still like evens everything out. So I do a very, very light coverage of this for my base. And then I go in with this Rare Beauty Concealer and I literally just put it like right here, right here, and then on my chin just to like highlight a little bit. I don't put any product really under my eyes just because I don't like the creasiness and I don't really have eye bags that I need to cover up, but I'm lucky with that. This is in the shade 130N and yeah, just use this to pretty much like highlight my face. And then I go in with the Mario Badescu contour stick. I just take it on a brush and then just do a very light bronze, but I really like using the cream bronzer. And then I'll go in with the Milk Makeup Blush. This is underrated, I feel like. It is so good. The formula is so good and creamy. This is in the shade Work and it's a, oh, it's a cheek. It's a lip and cheek, I never knew that. So you can put this on your lips too, I guess. But it is so good. I feel like people are sleeping on this. I do a layer of this and then I go on top of it with the Rare Beauty um, blush in this shade Bliss. I really wanna try this blush in this shade Happy, but it's literally all sold out. So anyways, I love this one too. It's like such a nice light pink. And I kind of mix them just depending on what I'm feeling. And then just to set everything, I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury powder i just set very lightly i don't like putting this all over my face because i want it to be very natural so i just set on the places where i get oily just a very thin layer i love this stuff it looks so natural and it gives such a nice finish then i use this merit beauty highlighter i just take a tiny bit on my finger and then dab it on my cheeks i love it so much this is slept on as well it's in the shade kava it's so freaking good and then i go in with the mirror beauty eyebrow pomade i love this stuff so much like you don't even know this is my go-to brow product and it makes it so easy and then the charlotte tilbury setting spray just to lock everything in i almost forgot so the most important part is adding a lip liner okay people have been asking me Michaela, have you got lip injections have you gotten lip injections i'm like no it's literally just a lip liner so the trick is to get a lip liner that's like really close to your lip color and basically just like overline it a tiny bit and it just makes your lips pop and it's very effortless it you barely can tell that you have anything on because it's so close to your lip color i just can't go without my lip liner anymore i bring it everywhere i wear it every single day this is just a random one i think my mom passed this one down to me because i didn't buy it myself but lip liner is the way to go if you guys have never tried it, it is a game changer and now I can't go without it. It is so good. So I saw somebody do this, I think on TikTok, where they took their bronzer. I'm going to try this with you guys. They took their bronzer and then they just kind of put it down their neck like this. And apparently that gives you like a defined jawline or whatever, cheekbone. So let's try that and see if you guys notice anything because I've been wanting to try this, but I've just been forgetting. Oh my god, I see in the viewfinder. There's just an outline of bronzer. Like, does that look weird? You just gotta blend it in. Like, does that work? Or does it look really weird? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, I almost forgot. I also use this Tweezer Man eyelash curler. Tweezer Man, if you're watching this, please sponsor me because you have the best, best eyelash curler on the market. I used to have this other eyelash curler. No shade to the other brands, but nothing, nothing works as good as this Tweezer Man. Like, my sister bought it first, and then I use it, and I'm like, holy shit this actually curls my eyelashes unlike the other ones that i tried so you can get it at like the drugstore or walmart i'm pretty sure guys i feel so on top of it today like it's actually insane i have done so much shit i cleaned i went to the, like it's 10 20 10 20 
Like, I think I would just be getting back from the gym now or something. My mind is blown. Like, I am not even tired. I am not even thinking about going to sleep right now because I have so much energy. So I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store soon, but I'm just gonna work right now for a bit before I go. I feel so productive. Good, how are you? Doing great, thanks for asking. What can I get for you? Um, can I get the uh, grande oat shake and espresso? Can I get a hot? Can I please get a grande brown sugar oat shake and espresso, please? Um, ice, please. For sure. In 13, I'll see you at the window. Thank, Thank you. you. What do I pay with? I have a free drink. So we're going grocery shopping, but I was like, we have to stop at Starbucks because we're just feeling the chill Starbucks vibes today. <laughs> It just makes me happy, okay? Okay, just sip on something while we're grocery shopping. I gotta put on it's my a Starbucks win, glasses. Win. What is that? Get those off of your face These are my right glasses. now. These are, I love these sunglasses because they hide my face when I don't want to be seen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I love gay men. Like, I love them. They're just... I don't mean to stereotype, but like I've never met a gay man that I didn't like. No. They're just so They're pleasant. Pleasant, yes. Oh, two. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> we're we're in a, we're in a Tesla sandwich right now, you guys. We literally parked beside two. And Joe was just saying how he wants to get a Tesla. I said just, I wanted that exact Tesla. Yeah, and we just parked between two Teslas. I also said I was gonna get a compliment on my strap, and I literally did two minutes later. We love that. Okay, grocery shopping. I have so much energy right now, and I have I just took in one sip of the coffee. I don't 6 a.m. Maybe that's maybe that's the time I should be waking up. tonight for dinner is I want to make Toscana soup if you guys have never heard of it it's like basically potatoes kale sausage and it is so good oh my goodness they sell it at like the Olive Garden and I just like searched up Toscana soup recipe and it is my favorite soup of all time and it's so easy to make so that's why we went grocery shopping so I can make the soup and then we just needed a couple round things So here's a quick overview grocery haul. We just got some tomato sauce. This is a vodka one I'm really excited to try it. It looks so good Just got a block of butter I got some yellow potatoes for the soup chicken broth for the soup Sausage for the soup and then bread to have with the soup kale for the soup and then This pasta to have with the pasta sauce for a dinner So that's good and then just some sourdough, some vegan butter, because I run out and I've been using regular butter, which I don't like doing. So yeah, that's just a mini little grocery haul. I also got this vegan oat creamer. This is specifically made to use for cooking. And if you guys um, try to stay away from dairy, I would totally suggest this if there's a recipe that calls for cream or milk even. Um, this is a really good um, alternative because it's plain, like it has like no really oat or almond taste. And it's really good. It's super creamy and it works perfectly. You can't even tell you substituted this for real cream. And I love it so much.
Okay, so this is called Toscana soup. Like I said before, I will have the recipe linked down below for you guys. I just substitute the butter and the uh, cream for non-dairy options um but yeah it's so freaking good i cannot wait okay so i suck and forgot to do an outro but i actually really did enjoy waking up at 6 a.m i actually got a lot accomplished and i had pretty good energy throughout the day i was really impressed so yeah thank you guys so much for watching do not forget to check out magic mind down below in the description and i'll have a discount there um, as well for you guys. Love you.